I'm just so excited. I think it's the most magnificent idea for a movie. It's so visual. It's so exciting. I read the script and it's a page turner. It's wonderful. And it flashes back from 1600s Italy to present day Ayutthaya. It's visually amazing. And of course, it's so inventive because Somtao is always brilliantly inventive with creating stories. And um, I love page 98. I can't tell you how much I think that's going to be exciting and challenging. I'm going to have to get to the gym every day. But playing a composer is something I've done before. I played Puccini in uh, a stage show called The Puccini Scandal. And next year we're going to the Wexford Opera Festival with myself as Puccini in a new show called Man of the Theatre. And actually next year is 100 years since he died. So it's a very special centenary. And I love playing composers. I find the whole idea of the compositional process fascinating and they're often quite eccentric and rather egocentric too. Well, I think they're, they're the same, but they're subtly the same because they, uh, there's about 300 or so years between, um, maybe 400 years between these um, incarnations. So I see the professor, the musicologist, as a rather softer character, maybe quite sort of a little bit eccentric, very bookish, and kind of caught up in his own world. He loves music and he loves Cavalli and because he's sort of trying to discover himself through all of this investigating of Cavalli, he's really going back and trying to find the old truth of the person that he used to be. But it's more subtle than that because he doesn't really realize that is his journey. But the composer himself seems to have been a bit more rough around the edges, a very ambitious, um, to the point of being quite ruthless to get what he wanted. But perhaps that's part of being alive at that period where it was a tougher place to make your way. Yes, well, he was kind of eclipsed by his teacher Monteverdi. Uh, um, he was prolific, but maybe his music was more popular, but less sort of memorable. Because I do, I do remember kind of some arias from Cavalli when I was at the Guildhall School of Music studying opera. I do remember some, but they weren't as memorable as the great opera composers uh, on the other side. You know, the ones that followed such as Handel and Mozart. Um, so in a way he kind of got eclipsed, but I imagine that he gave audiences what they wanted at the time. I'm really very excited because being in this movie is really a, a lifelong ambition for mine. As I say, I love playing composers. I love working with Som Tao. I love being in Thailand. So this is just really exciting. And it's also an in, a, and also I'm investigating all the time, like how these characters differ from each other, how they look visually, how they speak and how they act. So it's going to be a real exploration. <laughs>